Hi, this is Erica from Five Little Monsters, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about design space and specifically the weld feature. What that is, what it means, when you should use it, and when you don't need to use it. So I've just typed up a couple of words here to start. Here I have three separate lines of text. I love and you. And just in like a basic block type font. And then here I have love in a scriptier font. The first thing you're going to want to do, like with a script font like this, you don't necessarily want your letters detached in this way, so there's a space between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my letter space button and I'm going to make them closer together. And when I have them where I want them, Like, I think we're going to go with right there. You can see it's touching here, it's touching here, and it's touching here. And it's really hard to tell when your font is black. So I'm going to change the color to a lighter color. And you can see those lines, and it will cut. Your Cricut is going to cut each of those lines. And some of the lines you can't even see because where this O is right here, where the O and the V connect, you can not see behind the V, but the O will have a little line right here that's going to come behind it. And you can't see that here, but the Cricut will cut that out. And you probably don't want that to happen. You probably want this to cut as one solid piece. So this is one of the most common reasons why you would use weld, is when you're making text that you want to be connected, and you don't want each letter to cut out individually, you want it to cut out as one shape. So what happens when you use weld is it changes it from text to an image. In this case, we'll hit weld here, and you can see all those lines are gone, and now all of a sudden this is one word. If you look over here in your layer panel, it no longer says text, like this says here, text, and it tells you what the text is. It says weld result. You cannot change that text. You can't edit it. You can't do anything to it besides change the size of it. There's not really anything you can change. You can't move your letters closer or farther apart. You can't change it to a different font. You can't change the words, but it's an image. It's a weld result. One thing that people get confused about sometimes is they think, well, now I can't remember what font I used in my welded image and I can't change it because like you click on it and the text stuff doesn't come up here anymore. And like over here on the layers panel, it tells you what the text is, but on this one it no longer does. It does tell you, you just have to go a different route to find it. If you click here, um, it brings up your layer attributes where you can change the color or whatever, but it also has this little line right here that says see image information. And if you click that, it tells you the selected font was Chloe. And so if you're looking for how to find that information, it is available. It's just not as easy to find and see. So one of the most basic common reasons why you will use Weld is to connect letters that are close together. Now here I did these ones separate and I did this for a reason. Sometimes people will think, oh, I have these letters that I want to um, connect. Make them a little bit bigger. And maybe you're, you're trying to figure out how you want them to be positioned, so you want them in different layers so that you could decide, do you want it like staggered, or do you want it centered, or whatever. But let's say you get... Um, you get it to where you're happy with it. Maybe we, I don't know. You decide that's how you want it to be laid out. So, some people will select that all, and then they'll think that they need to weld it. Well, in this case, in this case welding is probably not the best solution. It would work, it's not that it's not going to work, but because you can't edit a weld, um, it's probably best to only use it if you absolutely have to because otherwise it's going to cut something that you don't want it to cut. In this case, none of your letters are touching, so there's really no reason why you need to use weld. 
in this case, attach will give you the same result as weld will. But if you attach it, all of those are still able to be edited. You'd have to detach it and then click on the right one, but you can still edit them. Whereas if you were to weld it, it's a weld result. You can't edit it. The only way to edit it is if it was the last step and you can undo it. So one other reason why you might want to weld as far as this type of a situation is because, hang on, I need to move those. They're kind of bugging me. We're going to just center them so they look a little bit better. Okay, so let's say that I want to slice this out of another shape. Like, let's just pull up a circle. And I want to slice I love you out of this circle. So I get it how I want it to go, and then I select both things, and my slice button is grayed out. The reason why my slice button is grayed out is because I still have three separate images here that I'm trying to slice, and you can only slice one thing out of another. So in this particular case, and that's even with it attached, so in this case if I were to weld it instead, now I've created one image. And now that it's one image instead of three separate lines of text, now I can slice. So that's another reason why slice kind of comes in handy. I mean, weld comes in handy, um, even if the letters aren't touching. But if you want it for some reason, if you need that image to become one, one unit instead of separate shapes, letters, words, images, whatever. Another reason why you may want to use weld is to, kind of like we did with the letters, change shapes or images into one. So just because it's an easy example, we're going to take a couple circles here. We're going to make this one a little bit smaller. And we're going to make another one. Let's say we want to make a Mickey Mouse head. So I've got a circle for the main part of the head, and then I've got a couple of ears. I'm going to put those where I want them to be, and then oops. Okay, so let's say that's how I want it to look. Now, problem. If I cut this out like this, it's going to cut along the edge of this circle, and it's going to cut along the edge of this circle, and you're going to have a little wedge that's going to get cut. Same thing on this side. So the way you prevent that is if you select all three of those shapes. Again, you could attach it, but attach is not going to help that become one. It's just going to hold them in place, but it's still going to cut those lines. Weld, on the other hand, changes it. It takes away that line, so now there's no longer three separate circles here, but it's one shape made out of three circles. So that's another time that you're going to want to use weld. So those are kind of the three main times that I use weld and that it makes sense to use weld rather than using like attach or group or one of the other tools. One more thing that you may want to do at some point that is another way that you could use weld. I'm going to take, I'm going to go back to the word love just because it's an easy one to do. And I'm going to change it back to a really basic block font. So we're just going to go back to that Cricut Sans that the other I Love You is made out of. Okay, I'm going to kind of move down my screen so that I can have some space. So I'm going to make my square about the same size as my letters. So this is kind of another thing, like you could possibly want to connect your um, text to a shape. Like maybe you're making a card or something uh, where you're going to want some words to be kind of attached to a shape. This is another time that you would use weld. So again, like it would cut all of these letters out separately as well as the shape 
in this case they'd even be cut out of separate colors because I haven't changed the color on one of them but even if they were the same color it would still cut separately but if I select both the word and the shape and then I select weld it's gonna turn them into one shape so you can see the words like up on top of that shape that square and so that's another thing that you may at some point want to do for some project that you're working on and so basically anytime you want letters to become one solid unit rather than cutting out individually in or shapes or images to become one unit rather than cutting out separately or a combination of shapes and text or images and text or if you're trying to slice and you need all of you need some separate lines or separate shapes to be grouped together so you can slice them out at one time uh, that's another time that you would use weld hopefully that helps explain what weld is and when you need to use it and why you need to use it in those situations um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep making a several videos like this on the different functions in design space well is just the first one that I chose to do but I'll also show how to use slice attach group contour all of those different things so if you need help with any of those be sure to check back for new videos as I come out with them mm -hmm.